is hard. Woody, somebody's whispering in your ear. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh my God, you guys. My heart is pounding. I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you that I've been impatiently waiting for this movie to come out. It's been 10 years since we've seen Woody Buzz and the rest of the toy gang and we just got the first look at the official trailer. The trailer starts off with Woody telling the rest of the toy gang that their owner Bonnie made a new friend. Like literally made. The little girl used arts and crafts to put together a toy in her school class which has now come to life. Woody introduces him to the gang and us as Forky, a plastic fork with googly eyes, pipe cleaner for arms and popsicle sticks as feet. Not the usual store bought toy we're used to seeing in these movies. I couldn't help but notice that we get a quick glimpse of the word Bonnie written on the bottom of his feet. The same way Andy wrote on Woody's boot. I guess it's a tradition that's been passed along. Soon after we see that little Bonnie and her parents are on the road in an RV which shows that they are on some kind of road trip. And of course Bonnie brought all her toys with her. We see some comedy when Forky realizes he isn't meant to be a toy because he's a fork. As he says he's meant for soup, salad, eating and then the trash. He doesn't want to be a toy so naturally he jumps out of the moving RV's window in the middle of the night. Woody and the rest of the gang find it their duty to save Save him since he's the most important thing to Bonnie right now. Woody goes after Forky by jumping out of the moving vehicle too, which he's used to doing at this point. But he gets separated from the rest of the toy gang. So of course Buzz takes the lead and they gather all together to go find Woody and Forky. Meanwhile Woody and Forky are also trying to make their way back to Bonnie. And oh my god we see Bo Peep. Is anyone else as happy as I am to see her? Woody finds her in what looks like an antique toy shop. Along with Bo Peep we also get a quick glimpse at talking dolls that look like actual human babies. And also a crowd of creepy villain ventriloquist dolls that have a scary resemblance to the Slappy doll from Goosebumps. I can't help but wonder if these dolls were inspired by the Goosebumps originals. A quick clip in this new trailer shows these evil ventriloquist dolls chasing after Forky and Woody who look like they are trying to escape them. Uh oh, getting home might be more of a challenge than we thought. Woody wants Bo Peep to go back to Bonnie's room with him where he says they all belong. But Bo Peep has been out exploring new things all these years and tries to show Woody that there's more to life than a child's bedroom. A carnival seems to be where Bo Peep has been all these years. So she's not only been introduced to other toys but also other kids. We see a lot of Bo Peep throughout the trailer seems to me like she's taking the lead in this movie. Maybe it's her big break. But what I really want to know is are we going to see Woody and Bo Peep together again? Maybe even a cheeky little kiss? Guess we're going to have to find out. I'm just happy to see the two reunite. But during one of the carnival scenes we see Buzz hiding out in one of the carnival tents. He's hanging on the walls with other toys and also Buzz merchandise. If you look closely you can see different hats and toys hanging on the wall. And the hats have Buzz's spaceship logo on them. Did he get all famous on us and now has Buzz Lightyear merchandise? If so, I'm not mad about it. I'd actually like to get my hands on some. The trailer ends by telling us, like literally tells us in text written across the screen, that we'll be seeing old friends, new friends, and more stories that will change our lives. And if it's anything like the first three movies, that's exactly what it will do. This toy box gets reopened and hits theaters June 21st. I better see you there. I'm your host Joss and I'll see you next time.